Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. With that being said, let's jump right on into the week of Scotty Kramer basically. There's a bunch of stuff to talk about that has to do with Scotty Kramer. And the first thing there is another rollback podcast this time obviously with Scotty Kramer. I've only listened to about 10 minutes of it so far and so far it's very good. We learned that he previously moved to Florida before his most recent move down there for all of two minutes before deciding in the driveway that it just wasn't for him and moving back. And that's about the extent of what I've reached so far. But every single other interview and podcast with Scotty has been fantastic so far. So I'm not expecting any less of this one. After that, we've got a video in the Vans Classic Tales series. This one is called Scotty Kramer Smashes His Front Teeth. This video was honestly awesome. I was entertained through watching the entire thing, even though I really hate crashing type stories and things like that. But they put some animation and cartoon with it and it was just extremely well done. It's something that really gave me a 90s feel, which I very much so enjoyed. And I think that you will too. They don't show any video of him crashing or anything like that. It's just the story and the cartoon and animation that goes along with it to make it that much more entertaining. And after that, we have a video from Scotty himself where at first he talks about his progress and everything that's happened since his injury, even before his injury a little bit. And then it goes into him talking about his new signature shoe from Vans. I will let you watch the video and get all of the details there. Just know that it does have the new BMX sole on it, so that makes it the second shoe with that. And if you have this shoe or you have the Kevin Peraza shoe, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below because I'm genuinely curious to hear what people who have these new BMX soles think about them. There is a link in the description to this and both of the other videos that I've talked about with Scotty so far, as well as links in the description to everything that I'm going to be talking about in the order that I talk about it. After that is some contests and jam news. We have a promo for the Shire Jam 2019, which is a video highlight of the jam from 2018 and then we had a Vans BMX Pro Cup Australia course preview with Dennis Anderson. I'm not really sure where this video is supposed to go because it's unlisted on YouTube which is usually something companies do if they only want it to be in a specific place that they put it. So if nothing else, maybe when you watch it, you'll get to feel like you're getting a sneak preview on something that you were only supposed to see somewhere else on the internet. And real quick, I want to mention a video that somehow I overlooked featuring Steve Crandall going around and talking to a bunch of people at the Vans BMX Pro Cup at Five Dock Skate Park in Australia. It's definitely Crandall being Crandall and talking to all of the guys who are riding and it's definitely way entertaining. I also wanted to quickly mention there are two jams going on in Ohio this weekend, or one contest and one jam that are going on. One is at Ohio Dream Skate Park and it's the last stop of the Battle for the Midwest contest series. That's here in Ohio. Then the next one I talked about last week too is the Next Generation Jam at the Wheel Mill. That one's going on in Pittsburgh at the Wheel Mill. I'm not sure why I said Ohio. And that brings us into the videos from this week. The first one that I want to talk about is from Dave Crone and it's called Spring Diddy. And last time I talked about Dave Crone, I said that I hadn't really heard of him before or seen any of his videos. And then someone pointed out a video that he put out that I actually did talk about that I remembered when they left that comment. So I have heard of Dave Crone. I have seen his writing. I still have the exact same opinion. It's awesome. It's super entertaining to watch. And I love whenever you can tell that someone is just doing exactly what they want to on their bike. And that is exactly what's going on in this video. And it's definitely another entertaining one to watch. And it's almost more entertaining and more impressive to watch in seeing that he is getting his face constantly bombarded with dreads every single time he does a trick. And real quick, while we're talking about Dave Crone, there was another video worth mentioning this week called BMX, A Form of Art. It's kind of a documentary and an interview, but it features Dave Crone and Kittrell Eberwein. So I wanted to make sure that I talked about it right after talking about Dave Crone's riding video. It's very well put together and it's kind of just a video that I think everyone can relate to if they feel like watching it. It is 
12 minutes, 25 seconds long. The next video I wanna talk about features Andreas Ochoa and it's for Fade Footwear and it's his 2019 video. Andreas is one of those people that no matter how good of a video he makes, it can't do his riding in person and watching him ride justice. I got to hang out and ride with him at the Merit Warehouse a couple years ago and the dude literally, he's one of those people that just makes you feel like he can do anything he wants to on a bike and that just doesn't really come across in a video unless you're doing like a two minute long run where you're doing trick after trick after trick and that's not to say that this video isn't extremely good because it definitely is i just want you guys to know how entertaining and insane this dude is to watch ride in person the next video i want to talk about was kind of disappointing to me but it's next on my list so i'm talking about it right here and that is jordan goodwin and dan crook at sheldon skate park from we the people i don't know why but i made the connection in my head that from the title to the video that maybe the fact that it said skate park would mean that they were doing quarter pipe tricks but the only time they ever touched a transition in this video is whenever one of them was manualing over a roller so it's a lot of street riding at the skate park which is totally cool i just wasn't expecting that jordan and dan are amazing riders and that doesn't make this video any less good doesn't make the quality of this video any less. There we go, that's what I mean to say. And that's the last video I wanna talk in depth about this week, but as always, there's other videos worth mentioning. The first one is with Jackman Hines, California to Arizona, and this one is from Demolition. Then we had five tricks with eight-year-old Caden Cernius from Fit. Then we had a weird and revered video called Wagons West, which was kind of a preview for their new DVD that they've been working on for quite a while now. And the last video, is the road to swamp fest with sunday bikes this one has a ton of amazing riding and a highlight from this is the 180 hand plant down a drop that eric elstrand does and that brings us into the product news from this week the first thing i want to talk about here is the new odyssey k light path pro tire this is a kevlar bead or a folding version of their path pro tire it's available in 2.25 through 2.4 in size and it's 39.99 on the price after that we have some spring apparel from two different companies we had kinks spring slash summer 2019 apparel and the spring 2019 apparel from shadow we then had a promo for snm's new holy diver frame which is basically a guy singing holy diver in karaoke with all of the different specs and colors and all of the information about the frame on the screen throughout with what I can only assume is Charlie Crumlish's editing finesse. Then if you remember a week or two ago, we talked about Simone Baracco's signature Simo frame from Sabrosa. Well now the Simo bars and forks are available from Sabrosa. So if you wanna check out the specs or any more information about those, there is a link in the description below with all of the information, specs and color options on these bars and forks. And then after that, we have a really awesome video from Federal showing Rob Draper designing the new Rob Draper Artist Series seat. This thing turned out super awesome and it's just a time lapse of him drawing the design on a seat. And then he pulls one out and shows the actual seat with that design on it. Rob Draper is somebody that I honestly have never heard of before, but in the description on this video, it says that he's worked with a wide range of global brands, including the Golden Globes, Nike, Gap, Levi's, Penguin, Bartel, Boggle and Haggerty, <laughs> Pentagram, Harper and Collins, WWF, Samsung, Sustrans, Leo Burnett, Good Type, The Washington Post, and Faucet Face. How many of those have you heard of? The ones that you have heard of though are extremely huge and this seat honestly is so awesome that kinda won it on my bike. Then from there we can move into the interviews type videos from this week. The first one that I wanna talk about just dropped today and it's Steven Hamilton's Federal Frame Promo. And he also had a video that dropped last week which was Steven Hamilton, the yin and the yang. And this was also from Federal. It was all done by Peter Adam. Adam? Peter Adam? Is it Peter Adam? It is Peter Adam. This was all done by Peter Adam and it's so well put together and honestly a lot of this stuff is stuff that I had no idea about back whenever Hamilton and I 
were riding literally every other day when I lived in Columbus. And it's just, it's always awesome to get to know people, even people that you know on a deeper level than what you even knew. And the yin and the yang video basically has him talking about his start all the way up until now, leading up to this frame promo video for a frame that is being released from Federal as a signature frame for him with his design on it. And honestly, I can't say it as well as he did. So if you wanna know about this frame, watch the frame promo video because he's talking about it and writing at the same time. And that's why I put it in the interviews portion of the video this week. It's all good stuff. Hamilton is a rad dude and you all know how much of a legend he is on a bike. So I'm sure that more than a few of you have already seen both of these videos. And the last video that I have to talk about this week actually ended up being one of my top favorite favorite videos of the week that doesn't normally happen if you've watched the news video for a while you know that normally the first video I end up watching is my favorite video of the week but this time it's the last one and this is cinnamon BMX take five with Corey Martinez and I think the main reason that this was my favorite video of the week is that the first question that they asked or actually I should probably talk about the concept it's basically Odyssey's 10 spot video but with five questions and way more produced and edited they put a lot more into this one and made the production value that much higher either way though the first question that someone asked her that they picked was when he was going to become part of the backbreak club again and he actually gave a really awesome answer and said that he's probably going to dabble with it and make maybe a break video which that would be super awesome he makes this video and that happens because i think it would be super awesome to see what all of these flat ledge kids could do if they took those tricks to a street spine. Just imagine it. And that's the note I want to leave this video on for you guys. And I want to ask you guys, what do you think or how insane do you guys think it would be if those flat ledge tech insane kids with four pegs took that to a street spine with brakes? I personally think it would just shut everything down and I think I'd be totally okay with a street spine era in BMX and I know a lot of people who would also be okay with that. So with that being said, that's going to do it for this week's BMX news. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. If you're new, hit the subscribe button down below. Let me know if you're part of the 20% crew and we'll see you next time for another video, which just happens to be tomorrow. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.